Now let's make a channel that has multiple threads because that's uh, that's kind of the point of a channel is uh, you want to be able to have all these things come in at the same time and uh, they're all sync and uh, send so uh, you know let's use that convenience. Um, so we have uh, let's just uh, practice with uh, with making uh, making these again. So of course the channel function gives you a channel and then uh, we are going to have some threads. So let's uh, let's bring that into scope. So std, let's see, what was it? Thread, thread dot uh, spawn, standard thread spawn. And then, okay, so we are ready to you know spawn our threads. Uh, now, what else are we going to do? Let's um, let's make uh, let's start that. So spawn. So here comes a thread. Uh, we are going to let's see how much we remember um, about this. So when whenever you spawn, you have a uh, you know the thread starts here. We have uh, we have a, uh, a closure. And uh, what is that bracket doing there? So there we go. So we have. A, Let's uh, let's send uh, sender dot send five. Let's make sure Rust doesn't complain about the type, and then we'll just make uh, a thread and do nothing with it. So we are almost ready to uh, to do something. And uh, now, of course, if we uh, if we say sender send five over there, then uh, Rust is going to uh, to say uh, so. Whoops, sender dot send. So let's say we try to send a five. It's going to say cannot be shared be between threads safely. Uh, that's because you know we want to uh, move it in. Uh, tell uh, tell the thread to uh, to pull it in, and uh, so this is going to work. But of course, you know sender is uh, is now now gone. Uh, it's been moved into the thread. So if we uh, if we do this and uh, try to send the same one, then it's going to say hey, this has been moved into the thread um, and so you know that's not going to work but of course that uh, you remember we had this uh, arc clone etc and we would put the uh, clone the arc and uh, sender is basically the same thing so we can say um, let uh, sender2 equals sender.clone and then instead of uh, sender we're going to Let's get rid of that. We're going to send in, you know, sender over here, and then sender two over here, and we're going to send it, and the receiver should get it. And uh, there we go. And then we are going to go down here and print uh, print it out. So we will say receiver dot uh, rec v or receive, uh, and let's unwrap it because we know it's going to be fine. So there you go. You can see that uh, we got the five, and actually these are uh, these are going to be uh, you know coming in at uh, you know the threads are going to be on their own schedule, and so uh, you know you might um, you might not get uh, the same data every time. And I'll show you um, because you know this is a a join handle that we haven't uh, that we haven't touched, and you remember a join handle uh, from before. We're, or we're not calling on the join handle to make it stop. So if you uh, if you you know print out what's coming in, uh, you know try to receive. Let's not unwrap this time because uh, there might not be things there. Uh, so we'll do that. Receiver try receive and print out you know what is coming in. So we've got these two. Uh, we've got a five coming in. We've got a fifteen coming in, and uh, this is interesting because you can see. Uh, we get an error and empty. So that's the uh, that's because uh, you know we called on the receiver before uh, before it's uh, you know, it uh, one of the threads even started sending. So there was nothing nothing to go in there. So let's uh, let's give it uh, one one more uh, sender. So let's say we have a five, a fifteen, and a twenty-five, and uh, let's try to print them all out. And uh, because we're not uh, doing any uh, any anything with the join handle, it's going to be uh, pretty random. So first we get one, then it tries to receive, tries to receive. Uh, these threads aren't done yet, and suddenly we reach the end of the program, and uh, you know these ones never got sent. So of course, uh, you know we would want to uh, 
let's see make this into a join handle so let's uh let mute handle back and uh we remember this from before we make this uh this empty vec that is going to uh going to uh, take these uh join handles and then we're going to call it at the end uh so we will say uh let's see uh handle vec handle vec dot push and push that in there and then uh, do the same thing handle vec dot uh, push that in as well and then finally we will push in the last one this is kind of uh this is taking a, a while to type so you know it's not the not the best way to do it but then but we're just demonstrating and so we'll say for handle in handle vec and then we're going to say handle dot uh, join dot unwrap so that'll say uh, stop uh, you know call on the join handle uh, wait for the thread to finish and then finally uh, you know we're confident that we're going to have uh, three numbers that that come in because uh, we're we're waiting around here for the uh, the threads to do their work and now you can see uh, they're all there uh, five fifteen twenty five and uh, let's see if we can get them in a different order so you can see they are going concurrently that's th this time it's 5 25 and 15 so um, uh, you can see it's really really similar to the um, to the arc uh, arc and mutex uh, thing we had before except for you know it's a, of course it's a channel but uh, the the join handle part is uh, is the same and you want to uh, make sure that your threads are um, are uh, you know allowed to finish their work before you start uh, you know reach, reaching the end of the program here and in uh, the next video we're going to do a little bit more work uh, we're going to imagine that we have a big uh, big task to do and we're going to try to use um, you know split it up and then have each channel do some of the work and then uh, and then join it together at the end